many people approach their lives this week with dread. They have so much to do and so few hours to do it. And therefore the stress and the load of the stress is on their back and in their mind all the time. I'm going to share with you an idea that will transform your life as it has transformed mine. And this is the way. God first. Now, two words. But how do you practice God first in your life? Well, this is practical Christianity along with positive Christianity. And let me give you practical ways of making that happen in your life this week. If you ever find yourself too busy for a daily chat with God, it's time to take a long look at your priorities. Now each day has 1440 minutes in it. Do you value your relationship with God enough to spend a few of those minutes with God? Well, of course you do, but it's finding the time to pray. Well, here's how. You've heard me talk about tithing and how it's changed my life. Now, usually we talk about financial ties, but this time I'm going to ask you to tithe with your time, to give 10% back to God of your waking hours. When you're awake, beginning right now, this hour, give six minutes back to God. Now you say, but, but I'm at work. I can't bow my head and pray. You don't have to. You can pray with your eyes open. You can pray as you handle your paperwork. You can pray for co-workers, pray for yourself, pray about what you're doing. Six minutes out of the beginning of every hour. You'll become a hundred times more productive than you would have been before, more awake, more filled with energy, and you will have some genius thoughts come through that are not of your own. You will connect with God first, and you'll do that this week, this whole week. You'll set up a timer, you'll set up a way to remind yourself, and the first thing every hour, you give six minutes back to God, and you're beginning a lifetime that will become more successful, more productive, and you'll be able to accomplish more. As you consider your plans for your days ahead, organize your life around this simple principle. God first, time tithe, six minutes out of every waking hour. When you place your Creator where God belongs, at the very center of your life, at the very center of your day, the rest of your priorities will fall into place. Jesus says to pray continuously. Well, busy executives say, but that's not practical. I can't do that. I'm a busy woman. I'm a busy man. Yes, you can. You can give back to God first six minutes out of every hour. In Psalms 92, 1 and 2, it says, It's good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praises to the Most High. It is good to proclaim your unfailing love in the morning, your faithfulness in the evening. Well, that's talking about continuous prayer and the blessings that you will receive from it. I pray with you that you will recall, you'll remember at the beginning of every waking hour to give six minutes back to God. You'll pray in different ways for different things at the beginning of every hour. You will be energized. You'll be cleansed. You'll be purified. You will have divine ideas come through you. In this energizing power, I am excited for you. 
In Jesus Christ's name, amen.